The marine sector is integral to life on our planet, both ecologically and economically. For thousands of years, people have relied on the seas and waterways for travel and trade. But with the oceans under threat like never before, today's challenges are perhaps the greatest obstacles that we've ever had to face. The next generation of engineers and scientists will have to work together to find ways of tackling life-threatening issues, as Robin Ross reports. Our oceans are awe-inspiring, beautiful, powerful and home to 80% of life on Earth. They are the lifeblood of our planet, both economically and ecologically. The ocean ecosystem literally supports every other ecosystem on Earth. The oceans not only are an economy in their own right, often known as the blue economy, and that's worth somewhere in the region of $3.6 trillion. It employs 350 million people. But the more significant thing is actually the fact that the ocean, through shipping, facilitates over 90% of world trade. But our deep blue is under threat from climate change, plastic and other forms of pollution, overfishing and acidification. We are placing untold pressure on our marine ecosystems. Take plankton microscopic organisms with a giant impact. They form the very foundation of marine food chains and support all life in the oceans, but they're in decline due to global warming. It's clear that the oceans are crying out to us for help and we must act now. We must engage stakeholders and other regulators to take action before we lose this life-sustaining blood of our planet. The next generation of engineers, technologists and scientists are tasked with finding innovative solutions to these problems. A career in the marine sector is increasingly seen as one that can make a real difference. We need doctors and research scientists. Every year we discover over 5,000 new compounds and products from marine sponges which have got all sorts of medicinal uses. This is the most exciting environment to work in. This is where it all comes together. All of the science, all of the humanities, all of the technology comes together. One of the things we're looking at at the moment, for example, is kites to tow the ships across the ocean, helping us be both sustainable but meeting our trade needs. Jobs in the marine industry can make a real impact Take the Thames barrier here. It's a feat of marine engineering. Without it, landmarks like the Houses of Parliament would be submerged in flood water. And as we filmed, up popped a seal, highlighting the importance of these waterways to all life. The Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology is an international professional body for all marine professionals. It has a worldwide membership of over 22,000 in over 120 countries, from ecologists to lawyers to engineers. Here at the Science Museum, you can see a replica of Boaty McBoatface. The autonomous underwater vehicle can travel under ice and reach depths of 6,000 metres to measure the impact of climate change in polar regions. The project required collaboration between AI, advanced electronics and computing. So one of the things I really love about this area is how we are balancing responsible exploitation of this incredible resource, but with the long-term sustainability, with climate change, plastics in the ocean, and the careers in science, engineering and technology in our world have to cover all of that. This is the International Maritime Organisation in London, a specialised agency of the United Nations responsible for regulating shipping. IMRS provides impartial technical advice here and in other intergovernmental forums. The marine sector is one of the few where you can feel like you're making a measurable change and there's an unrivaled sense of job satisfaction in that, knowing that you're contributing to a global cause, to a global blue economy, being able to say at the end of the day that my job, our industry, we save the world. Greta Thunberg has mobilised a whole generation to fight climate change. To utilise the talent and passion of this generation, IMRS runs events such as designing and racing human-powered submarines to inspire early career professionals to devise ways to use the oceans more sustainably. I knew that I just had to work in an industry where not only it's something that I'm interested in science, but also felt like I could make a hands-on direct contribution to helping a cause that my generation is so passionate about. The oceans are the very foundation of life on Earth, providing food, work and over half of the Earth's oxygen. Yet only 5% of them have been explored. 
The ocean is beautiful. I mean, it's the final frontier on this planet. We know less about the ocean than we do about the surface of the moon. So um, let's get out there, let's explore it, let's find out about this amazing resource that we have literally on our doorsteps.